e-commerce products on Snapchat. Today I'll show you how you can easily list your products on Snapchat even if you have a large number of products. Hey everyone, this is Sadia from Productive Manager. In this video, I'll show you how you can create the right Snapchat product feed in just a few clicks. Today, I'm gonna be using the plugin Product Feed Manager for WooCommerce. You can also use the plugin to generate product feeds for any online merchant in just a few clicks. Let's go to WordPress dashboard. So here you can see I'm on my WordPress dashboard and I have already installed Product Feed Manager for WooCommerce. So once you have installed and activated the plugin, you'll see the Product Feed icon on your dashboard. So if you hover on this, you'll get these options. Now to create a new feed, Click on the add new feed option. It will take you to the feed creation page. Now firstly, I'm going to set a feed title here. So I'm just naming it as Snapchat catalog. Now this is the feed merchant drop down. If you click on this, you'll see the marketplaces listed below. So as we are creating a feed for Snapchat, so let's select Snapchat. So once you select it, you will see the required attributes will be automatically listed below. So if you see here, this is the feed type which I have selected in CSV format. Now if you have a look at below, you will see all the attributes. So these attributes you need to include in your Snapchat catalog if you want to list your WooCommerce products there. So let's see them one by one. So here firstly you see the ID. This is the product id which is unique for every product you have in your woocommerce store so next you have the product title here then this is the product description so if you want you can select which value you want to appear for these attributes for that just click on the action option so here you see you can select the product description for the variable product you can see the parent description you can even select the product short description so whichever you prefer to appear in your feed all right now link is the product link for every attribute so you can see there is the your product url assigned as a value for this attribute all right now this is the image link of the product you can select which image link you want to appear for the products this is the featured image selected here if you want you can select main image thumbnail image whichever image value you want to appear in your product feed then there is the availability value which is the stock value so you can uh, select how you want your availability information to appear in the feed from this drop down next there is the price attribute you can select a regular price this is the price attributes uh, so if you have any products in sale so this price attribute will um, include the sale price if you do not have sale price so this price attribute will include the regular price then you have the sale price attribute then there is regular price with tax without tax basically whichever goes better for you you can select that assigned value for your attribute and there is the currency option let me just edit it so all the currency of my products are same so i'm just gonna add a static value so let me select usd and finally this is the condition these values will appear for the woocommerce product that you have already set in your while setting up your WooCommerce store and product. So these are the required attributes, but if you want, you can add new attribute or any custom attribute if you want. For that, you can select this drop down and here you can add new attribute or add any custom attribute. Let me add a new attribute. So let's say I'm gonna add the brand for my products. So let me search the brand. So suppose all of my products are from Rex brand. So I'm gonna give the value of Rex team here. Let me select the static attribute and let's write Rex team here. So once you have configured all the attributes, your feed is almost ready. Now let's have a look at the settings and filters that you can set up to customize your product feed. For that, Click on the settings option. You see the settings are already pre-configured but you can always change them if you need to. Here you can select the auto interval for your feed that means if you set here hourly that means your feed will be updated hourly. That means any information that is changing 
in your WooCommerce products will be updated in your Snapchat catalog as well. So there's the country, the tax rate, and there are some other product informations which you can include or exclude if you want. For now, let's close it. Now let's see the product filter option. So here you will see different filter options which you can apply to your product feed. You can apply any category based filter, tag filter, product filter, whichever you want. Or if you want, you can add a custom filter Set here a conditions to exclude or include specific products in your product feed. And you also get a feed rule option which you can use to manipulate your feed attributes according to any condition. Alright, for now let's close it. So once you are done configuring the settings and filters, your feed is ready. Now let's publish the feed. For that, just click on the publish button. And your feed will start generating. This feed generation depends on how much products you have on your WooCommerce site. Now that your feed is published, you can view the feed, copy the feed link or download the feed. Let's view the feed. There you go. This is the Snapchat catalog and you see all the required attributes are here and your product information are correctly added here as well. So that's how you can easily create a Snapchat product catalog for your WooCommerce store. So what are you waiting for? Start promoting your products on Snapchat and drive more sales. I have given the link to Product Field Manager in the description box below. Don't forget to check that out. That's it for today. See you in the next video.